man. Hey guys, this is my review for The Predator, the newest in the series of The Predator films. This one was written and directed by Shane Black with additional writing done by Ted Decker. This film was filmed out here in Vancouver. There's a lot of scenes that you can clearly tell it's out here. There's Riverview hospitals used quite often. The end climax, a lot of the tree combat in the film was actually filmed at a place that's right down from where I live. The last time a movie involving a predator was filmed specifically here, out here in BC, was AVP Requiem. Let that set in. The Predator series is much like the Highlander series. The first film is really the only good one. However, there was a break. Now, Predator 2 is a mess. I don't really enjoy it. I know some people who do. AVP was not that great. AVP Requiem was an absolute disaster. And then came Predators. Predators I did not think was that bad. I actually enjoyed it. I thought that there was a good bit of character in that film. The idea of the world's worst war criminals. That was actually really cool. I thought that was a cool idea. And the film is a little messy, but it's well executed in certain sequences. This film is kind of like putting the misfit slash the dirty dozen together, and Shane Black does throw in a lot of his very good humor, and there are some strips of very good characters. However, this film heavily, heavily suffers from ADHD editing. The film never, ever takes a minute to breathe. It is constantly doing something, and it never rests on a character's interaction. It never rests for characters to breathe and really take sight of the situation. It never lets you, as the audience, breathe. It's ridiculous because there's certain films that are constant action, like The Raid or Mad Max Fury Road, yet those movies take a minute. There's maybe two minutes in this film that is composed of dialogue that isn't skipping around like a sugar happy little kid. I couldn't believe how bad the editing was within the first five minutes of the film. This editing is so bad but so commonplace nowadays that you see it everywhere. It's not a situation of terrible quick editing for fight scenes like the latter half of the Taken series or Resident Evil the final chapter. That movie had a terrible bit of quick editing. This is literally just very quick editing, but however, I don't think it's all entirely the editor's fault. I actually think that this is a situation where the studio was interfering, trying to ramp up the speed of the film, and yes, that is a situation that can be blamed on the producers, it can be blamed on Fox. However, there is some stupid fucking shit in this movie. Some unbelievably inept writing is in here and I don't know how that happens because Shane Black has proven himself to be a great film writer and a film director. He's got some of the best movies I've seen in a long time like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, The Nice Guys was a great movie that came out I think it was last year. There's a scene at one point where there's these predator alien dogs and they appear in front of the misfits and they get shot at and they just stand there. The guys are all like flipping around, rolling around, jumping out of their cars and everything, yet the dogs are kind of just like, mm, 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 mm. The characters are so quickly shoved into this film. The action scenes are so quickly shoved into this movie. There is just a bunch of shoving and there's no Grease. It's all raw dog. And it's not a fun time. There are, of course, a few action sequences here and there, parts of them that are quite enjoyable. The gore was really cool, but the problem was it's super CG, so it doesn't really matter. And the fight between the super predator and the predator is really, really lackluster. It reminded me a lot of AVP. Oh, man. The funny thing is, though, it refers to the first, the second, and Predators and the kind of the knowledge of this film, and it sets itself up for a sequel, but it sets itself up kind of like how Fan Stick did. The main guy in this film's not bad. He's basically playing a less southern version of himself from Logan without a metal arm, 
but he's actually a kind of a cool guy. Except I did not buy the relationship between him and his son, played by Jacob Tremblay, at all. Jacob Tremblay is actually pretty good in this movie, and I was kind of wondering how a kid was going to be used in this film. It actually uses him in a pretty cool way. I actually did enjoy Jacob's participation in this film. But there's a lot of elements in this film that just don't make any sense. Olivia Mum's character is supposedly a biologist, yet she's rocking toting a super machine gun using a grenade launcher at one point. I actually really liked Sterling Brown in this film. He's really good. He's come a long way from Supernatural Season 3 and he's actually probably one of my favorite parts in the movie, even though his character's motivations makes absolutely no sense. He's an idiot in this movie too. So the Predator in a nutshell is basically very lackluster. The action sequences aren't that great. The characters are there, but they're given such little screen time that you barely even get to really make a connection with them. The humor is good. I'll give it that. The humor in this movie is very good. It's a little bit sporadic at times, but I think that's kind of in two with the characters. But then the story just is so messy. It really needed a few more months of drafts or something. And the Super Predator thing is kind of just, eh, just does not deliver. It does not give anything worthwhile. Someone said this is the best one since the first movie. Fuck that dude, Predators is miles ahead of this movie. Hell, that movie even set up this one with the whole kind of different races of predators fighting each other, sort of. Anyways, my rating for The Predator is a 2 out of 7. I can't believe I'm giving this the same rating as Jurassic World 2, but really guys, I couldn't enjoy this movie. I was trying to, there are some parts that I did find funny, there's a few parts that made me laugh, but I would never want to see this movie again. I really hope the sequel is given more time, it has less producer involvement, and it actually is a decent action movie, but you basically turn the Predator into a straight up PG-13 with R-rated CG gore. I don't know. I just did not enjoy this movie that much, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, that's all from me. See you guys next time.